Truck System Technologies 507 Tire Pressure Monitoring System. For this demonstration, we will be using the 507 monitor and the 507 sensor with replaceable batteries. To cut on the monitor, slide the switch up on the side of the monitor. Once it's slid up, the monitor will be on and you will see a display of a truck and a trailer with a battery icon on the bottom right hand corner. To program your sensor, press the code button on the side for six seconds until you hear a beep. For this demonstration, we will be using the outer right dually of our RV. To switch tires, use the plus and minus buttons to go between each tire. Once you arrive at the tire you want to program, take your sensor using the code button and using the sensor at the bottom of the monitor and press the code button. It will instantly pick up and your code will be inside the monitor. Do this for all the sensors you have. Once you are done with your sensors, press the mode button and it saves your tire position and your codes. Next, we will be putting the tire pressure sensors on the tire itself. Unscrew the cap from the valve stem. Place the sensor inside the wrench. Just like the 510, the 507 sensor is theft proof and this wrench will allow you to screw it on. Again, like with the 510 system, you do not want it too tight or too loose, otherwise you may not get the reading you're looking for. Once the sensor is triggered, you will see tire pressure and temperature. For this demonstration though, we have not set a high and low pressures yet, so the monitor is going to alarm you. To silence the alarm, press any button. Right now the tire pressure and temperature is on the screen. But for our demonstration, we are going to set the tire pressure high and lows and the temperature next. To do so, take your monitor and you will press the mode button for six seconds. You will come to a screen where it's flashing PSI. Press mode. You will see Celsius on your screen you want to change the Fahrenheit by pressing the plus button right here. Once changed to Fahrenheit, you will go on to your steer axle, the first two flashing tires right here. You will see a high pressure tire and 175 PSI. You will change that to 20 PSI above and 10 PSI below what you run your pressures at. For this demonstration though, we only have one tire on our monitor. So we will scroll over to the low pressure for this axle, represented by a low tire and 100 PSI. Scroll over to the axle where your tires are. For this, our axle is a tag axle. You will see a high pressure tire and 175. We run our pressures at 80 PSI. So like I mentioned earlier, you will want to do it 20 PSI above and 10 PSI below. Using the plus and minus buttons here, You'll want to go to where your high pressure is. Once you get to the mentioned location of 101 PSI, mode over to low pressure. Because we run at 80 PSI, we want to go about 10 PSI below that. Mode over again to save that position and you'll be on your trailer. Because we don't have any trailer tires, we will mode over to our temperature. 158 is the default temperature for the 507 tire pressure monitoring system. You may choose to change it at any time, but we prefer that you don't because the Michelin standard is 180 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit for a tire to fail. 158 is the perfect time to let you know that, hey, your tire might be getting it pretty high. Once you get done, press the set button and your tires are ready to be monitored. Thank you for your time. Enjoy your system.